So this guy right here is who's designing uh, the changes that we have coming out on the Pal Peralta boards that we're all extremely excited for. Yep, that's George Powell. Can you imagine? George Powell created the dragon wheel, the bone Swiss ceramic, and also reverse aging. Everyone's just like standing on everyone's boards. We're figuring out different feelings and stuff like that. Yeah, definitely some significant changes that uh, it's it's not even like uh, this is this is a all encompassing change. We're just there will be more. There's more things now, more options, and we're really starting to narrow it down one thing at a time. But yeah, some changes that uh, I'm really stoked on. I know Spencer's really stoked on it. It depends on your preference, but it's not like we're not going to have the other stuff. Uh, plus, there's going to be more. And since the dude like skate skates, you know what I mean? Like, you, you want someone designing your board who can like 360 flip and also do like some errors on transition. And like this guy's got that, so he has like a really good understanding. And we're all just gathered around him, like children, hearing stories of how board shapes work and what he plans to do. How deep are we? We're deep. Oh, dude. Do you have any letters yet? It's S. You K, have S? Because you had switch back big swim, what was the other trick? Switch from big. Oh, you're 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 dust, John! Oh switch barrel heel board slide. Well, oh, he kind of almost did it. Not really. Pal's over here moving in silence. You're going to notice a lot of experimental stickers on everyone's boards. Uh, something new. Something cool. I'm pretty excited about it. He just tray flip with that rail first try. And then he struggled to push. Ooh, transition, Lucas? Look at who is he? He's putting his foot on the ground. Oh! And he got, and he lost an air slide. So he's getting bodied in this game of skate. What is, is that? T? John's at T. Oh, he went straight for the throat. All right, take him, take him out. John's hurt. No excuse. He's about to be more hurt after this game. Uh -oh. oh, right in the eyes. Yep. Every single person on power right now is riding something different. The graphics are the same, but it's a different thing. Uh, something to get kind of psyched for. Lucas is so excited. He's waxing a ledge that he's not even going to skate. ka -chow! Okay. You do or your turn? That's... Redo or your turn? What was the ref say? Redo. Alright, ref say redo. Woo! Oh, we're gonna get out of the same thing. That looks crazy. Huh? That looks crazy. Like, I start going with your idea. Jo John's so, calling no multi manual shit on that one. Redo! <laughs> redo! I've never seen you so hurt. I'm, I'm not letting this slide right now, bro. I'm always a cheater. What? <laughs> oh. Alright, there's your loss. <laughs> Damn, straight up got skunked? He's, an this is a he's holding on that shirt because he's ready to put it back on and leave. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. 
What better way to get uh, used to a new board than games of skate? I thought he said no kickflips. Oh, you good? Oh, he's he's presetting. He's pre-moving your your game. He's Haku Nakamura in you with his pre pre moves. You gotta pop it. You don't have to go fast, but that second one counted. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at now he's complaining. Technically pre-moved that. Hey, I should read you. I don't know. I don't even know if I should talk about the new boards. This is more just like John taking a bunch of L's. <laughs> you're over rotated. Oh, that's my baby. Oh, oh no, big flip. Oh, what is that? You didn't roll hey, like that. Got a letter. Look who's got a letter. Yes! And somehow he did it worse. Sweet heel. I heard that. <laughs> if you would have called that. Yep. Is he missing a shoe? What an idiot. Oh, rides for Pat Peralta one time, starts doing the Calvin Hoffer. Flash! Missed. I, I stopped paying attention, I thought this game was over. Dude, I'm about to crush him. Come back season. Oh, he almost kind of did it. Well, you tried the wrong trick, he did nollie shove. Now switch front yes. shove. Okay. Lucas seems to really like the board. You were like this, and then you went to this. Listen to him arguing about this game of skate in the background. Roll straight. Roll straight. See? Because you can't do it. <laughs> if he comes back and beats you, I'm going to be so disappointed. Well, I technically landed the big heel. Did you? Because you didn't. <laughs> well, maybe not. Oh, it's Nally back heel. Oh, he landed it. Why'd you be John that had to really cheat to win? I, bro, I, I would have just been my team anyway. No, you would have been game on the floor. Good game, bro. Wait, is that actually over? Is that team? Is that team? That was your last try. You didn't try. Fine, I'll try. <laughs> Wait, you actually did come back and win? <laughs> His board didn't even fly. <laughs> Yes, you are. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Oh. Revert that, make it a 720. Yeah, that. <laughs> yep. 720. We'll count it. What do you think, John? 720 flip? Mitch? So what sucks about this ledge, not sucks, but what's scary about it is where the peak is, is like high enough to kind of sack and get like tossed pretty hard. It's um good height to get on, but yeah, this spot right here where it's about to go down, where you got to really adjust your body weight, it's like the scariest spot. Oh, I thought you were going. Whoa. You might be thinking to yourself, guys, why don't you skate this side? Since you're complaining about how scary that side is. Well, this side's not waxed, and that same sounds like effort. That 
that side's not wax at all. Even though we're out with 20 people, uh, we got no filmers. Because sometimes the filmers gotta get clips too. Victor's over there bat battling a trick, so we're just gonna, we're gonna do a back-to-back, -back, the only way we know how. Do you wanna go first or second? You go, you go. Okay, I'll go first. Well, there's a 0% chance that he's not gonna row his first try. Good save. First try? I told you I could do it. <laughs> Literally first try? Yeah. Switch back tail like the straight out one and clear to the bank. So like slide to the scary part. It's a big old shove, and yeah, it definitely is windy. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna dude! Try to drag my truck the whole time. <laughs> that was it. Like just like board slide grind. <laughs> this sort of feels like wecking on a manual on purpose. Like this is the board slide wreck. I feel like it's gonna let me get away with it. I never know what he's gonna do. He, he'll land like one trick and then it's like, that's it, you just gotta follow. Yeah, yeah, I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I've been trying to get better at these. This park is so insanely crowded right now. So what's interesting about his setup is since he works at the shop and can cut anything he wants, that board he's riding does not exist. It is the exact specs that he wants it to be. You cannot buy that board. That is his custom shape and design.
Oh, no, you didn't. Okay, so this board right here that I'm on, uh, this is his board. And since he works there, it is an absolute custom. It's exactly what he wants. So when you work there, you can make the shapes, the sizes, the specs. What's cool about it, and I'm not going to get into the specs uh, as much as, like, this is something that I would definitely just ride. It is like a 8, 7, 5-ish size board, something slightly different. But holy crap, does it feel cozy. Um, this is, like, if you would have asked me what my perfect board would have been a year ago when I was still riding like a bigger board, it would have been literally this board. Like everything about it is exactly right. Yeah, so basically he is an engineer who skateboards. He got a job at Pal Peralta and you've been there for what, two years? Uh, yeah, two years. I've been, I've been wanting to, I mean, I like, I like all the boards. I love, I love the Flytex. Yeah. And um, just as far as like shapes and concaves and that kind of stuff, like I didn't, I didn't find anything that, felt like the perfect fit for me yeah so what's it like was, it's hard to find in general the, that was kind of the initial like wanting to get to work on this kind of stuff and yeah obviously i'm not just trying to make something for myself but yeah uh well trying to make i did <laughs> I, yeah I, I, I also want to make stuff for myself <laughs> but um you know just just to kind of expand the lineup and uh make something that people are stoked on and all of that you know we yeah. had same same shapes and same concaves for a long time i think I don't know how many years, but longer than I've been there. Yeah. And um, yeah, we're just we're just kind of trying to explore a bunch of new stuff and and bring out some new products and yeah. new concaves and stuff that people are stoked on. To, like talking off camera and him like going down the list of all the stuff that they're like trying and tinkering. Like imagine, imagine if you had an access, if you had access to every single like tool to make a skateboard like different or tweak with like different materials and stuff. Like they're they're actually playing with that stuff. Like, and it's skateboarders that's playing with that stuff. So if, like, something shakes loose, I think, like, at our warehouse would be a good spot. Just because, like, George is such a psycho with, like, messing with new stuff and new ideas. You got actual skaters in there, like, playing around with these things. But basically what's going on right now is a lot of different... Um, we're not getting rid of any of the old stuff or any old shapes. It's more like an expansion, a massive expansion of, like, different size and shapes and in-betweens. And uh, just trying to find something for everyone. Just having, like, a bigger arsenal of everything, right? Yeah, and to your point, like, George is constantly playing with stuff. Yeah. You know I mean, like, it's actually really neat to see, like, how long he's been in this and how passionate he is to still try all sorts of wild stuff. And excited. Whenever you talk to him about it, like, he wants to nerd out so bad with you. Like, yeah, you're just like, oh, yeah, this, 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 this. I'm like, hell really yeah. Into it. He's yeah. really into it, and it's, and it's, uh, it's like, it's motivating to be around that. Yeah. Um, and you, and you see the products of it, too. I mean, like... Uh, dragons are probably the perfect example. You know what I yep. mean? Like that's like the newest, like wild thing that I know he's been working on it for a long time. But you don't you don't stick with a project like that unless you're super passionate about trying stuff and trying to make it work. And yeah, you know, I mean, well, there's a reason that he came up with you know the STFs, the dragon wheels. I mean, you got things like bone Swiss ceramics that came out of uh, the warehouse. Yeah. You got yeah. the flight decks. I mean, he's he's constantly doing like the next thing that. Uh, in my opinion, makes skateboarding way better. Everyone who's ever ridden a flight deck, or for all of my friends over at Santa Cruz, I've talked to some of them, they'll only ride the VX boards now. Like, that's that's George coming up with that concept and, like, bringing it to light. So, a lot of, I, I'm really excited to be a part of a company that is constantly not just um, changing things for the sake of change, but just trying to make them better and also more playful. We talked about some other stuff that I can't get into it. There's things that there's just cool stuff coming out, and that's all I'm gonna really say about it. But it was uh, cool getting to meet you, skating yeah. with you. Uh -huh. Let me let me get a kickflip. Uh, Ooh, first go. Yeah. You're in. You're in the vid. <laughs> if I don't make it, I have to do switch hospital. Now he's punishing himself. Uh, <laughs> 